Today we're going to be looking at how to check the straightness of a shaft and if it is bent, how to straighten it using a torch. Now I've set my dial indicator up in the middle of my shaft and the shaft is resting on two V blocks set approximately at one third intervals the total length of the shaft. The dial indicator is also on the top of the shaft, 90 degrees to the shaft if the dial is reading at an angle or off to either the front or the back of the shaft we'll end up getting some errors with our readings. Now I've also greased this V block so that the um, shaft as I turn it doesn't get scored or marked uh, and it protects the V blocks and the shaft just a little bit. So before we actually rotate the shaft and to check the deflection of the shaft I want to point out that when you roll the shaft over it's better to roll it over by hand and hold it close to one of the V blocks. If I push on the shaft or try to turn the shaft closer to where the dial indicator is you can see we end up getting some deflection on the shaft from uh, my hand. So there we see the total indicated uh, deflection of the shaft. In this case we have about two and a half thou, maybe almost three. So the first thing we need to do is find the high spot of the shaft or where the, the shaft bows upward. When the dial indicator plunger is moved in towards the dial we get a positive reading. So in this case about here is our um, the highest point or where the shaft is bowed in an upward direction. I've already preset the flame on my torch just using an oxyacetylene torch with a number one welding tip set to a neutral flame. Now I'm going to use this little torch to heat up on the high side of that shaft a very small spot for just a few seconds. You'll see that the shaft deflection or the shaft is deflected slightly. Just for a very small spot there. Basically what happens is when we expand one side of the shaft it's going to grow upward. But then because we've heated one spot extremely hot, it's actually going to cause those molecules to want to um, join together more closely. And it's actually once everything is cooled off, it should um, cause the high side to want to pull down a little bit. So there's some things to note while this shaft cools that we can talk about. Number one, if this is a heat treated shaft, this is not a method to be uh, straightening, straightening the shaft with as this will take the hardness out of the shaft uh, surface. Another thing to mention, I can repeat this process in a more than one spot if the shaft has quite a large bow in it. If it moves 10 to 15 thou, we can heat multiple points to um, achieve a straightness that we want. We also want to um, heat quickly without heating the entire shaft. So using a small welding tip, uh, we heat in one localized area for a short time so that we are only heating on the surface more than trying to heat up the entire shaft all the way through. We want to heat more to the surface only. As you can see, as we rotate the shaft, the dial isn't showing much change in our deflection. We may need to heat the shaft a couple more times on either side of the dial to achieve the straightness we are looking for. So I've heated the shaft about five times, a couple little spots on each side, and I've reduced it down to just over a thou, a thou and a half or so. If I continue to heat it up, I'll uh, end up straightening the shaft even more. So you can see we've also got these little heat spots on the shaft. Using a little bit of scotch brite here, I just rub gently to clean off those um, spots so that the shaft appears bright. Once the center of the shaft has been straightened, I'd like to move to the ends of the shaft 
with the dial positioned at the very end of each shaft and I'm going to rotate the shaft around just like I did in the middle and find the uh, the high and the low spots so there's the low spot and there's the high spot when I'm actually going to straighten the end we'll do it opposite of what we did in the middle the, so the middle we were finding the high spot or the, the spot where the shaft bowed upwards towards the ends we are going to find the lower spot basically where the shaft bends downward when we heat the shaft close to the v-block about here when the shaft cools off well, the, the shaft will then bend upwards towards the dial um, reducing the amount of deflection on that uh, the shaft.